referrals are, are, like I said, super powerful. They can support you. They can support small consulting businesses and independent consultants in the early days. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of consultants who are very happy with the business that referrals generate for their, for, uh, with, the, with the consulting engagements that referrals generate for their business. If you're happy with the pace of the referrals that you get, uh, and if you're happy with the kinds of engagements, engagements you get, if you're happy with the, the pace of growth that referrals provides your business, then by all means, continue with the referrals and, and do whatever you're doing, right? Um, I'm not here to knock referrals. I get a lot of referrals too. And I know uh, um, how important referrals and warm introductions are for, for consulting businesses. Um, that's how I started my business, like, uh, like everyone else, right? I just reached out to everybody I knew and... Through that, I got a couple of referrals and I got off the ground. So if referrals are working for you and if you're happy with the pace of referrals, then you don't have a problem with lead generation. But the mistake I see a lot of consultants make when they wanna grow beyond a certain point is that they begin to depend and rely on referrals. They used to referrals, they understand the power of referrals and they start to depend on them. And when they start to depend on them, they don't have a proper um, viable strategy or approach to increase the number of warm introductions and referrals. 